Whether they know it or not, nice guys play by a certain set of rules when interacting with women. And unknowingly, these hidden rules keep them from actually getting the women that they want. So if you're a nice guy who's unable to attract women, you have to watch this video carefully because there are three rules you follow without even knowing that's causing you to push women away. And you have to break these three rules immediately if you want women to fall for you and wanna be with you. So pay attention and watch this video till the very end. Most of your problems with women will vanish after you watch this video and apply what you learn. So without further delay, let's dive in. I'm Marnie and from here on out, I am going to be your very own personal wing girl. And every week I'm gonna give you the no BS insider information about what women really want and show you proven ways to improve your success with women. So just hit that subscribe button now so you can start learning what it actually takes to unlock the dating life you deserve. I actually noticed one thing, 75% of you guys who watch these videos are not subscribed and that is just wrong and you are going to miss out on these amazing videos if you're not subscribed. So just take a second and click that subscribe button now. Done? Okay, let's get started. Here are the three nice guy rules you must break to finally attract the women you want. So rule number one, the indirect rule. Every nice guy on earth has a tendency to hide their interest in women. They want to seduce a girl indirectly. We want covert methods to make a woman fall in love. They think that if they show their interest up front, they may seem desperate or get rejected. And look, to be fair, that's a possibility. Sometimes that will happen, but it's a risk worth taking. In fact, it's a must. You have to take that risk. Like the typical nice guy, if you start to hide your interest in women, you're gonna be put in the friend zone as most guys do. After all, if a woman has little or no idea that you like her, but you seem like a good guy, the only logical thing to do is make you a friend. If there's no sexual sexuality there, there's no advantage in being indirect. And if you're direct about your interest in a woman, if you let her know that you're into her and that you'd like to date her, one of two things will happen. Either she'll be cool with it and agree to go on a date with you, win, right? Or she's gonna say no. Both are a win. I mean, if she says yes, it's an obvious win. But even if she says no, it saves you so much time and energy. You can simply move on and focus on a different girl or become friends with this girl because you know the deal. Nice guys do not understand this. They choose to be indirect, fall into the friend zone, and then hopelessly try to climb out of it and win over the girl. It is a losing strategy and one that you should never use because it's going to have you losing. Rule number two, the rapport rule. Wanting to build rapport with the person you like is a natural desire. We all want to make a good impression and be liked by the person that we like. But if we obsess over rapport and being liked, it can become a huge problem. And that's the problem that most guys face. You see, a nice guy doesn't just want rapport. He needs it. And not only does he need it, he's going to do whatever it takes to maintain it. That means he's going to play it as safe as possible. He's not going to disagree with the girl that he likes Ever. He's never going to say no to her. He's going to pretend to like everything that she likes and dislike everything that she also dislikes. He's not going to touch her because he's worried about being creepy and he'll laugh at every joke she makes, even if it's not funny. Basically, he's only going to say and do things that are guaranteed to build and maintain rapport. This makes him a people pleaser. And if you've watched my channel before, you probably know how much women hate people pleasers. It's literally one of our biggest turnoffs. You can be ugly, short, bald, broke, whatever. You will still be able to attract women, but if you come off as a people pleaser, you have zero chance. And the worst part is women instinctively pick up on this. It's like we have a mental software which examines if a guy is a people pleaser. And this means if you're rapport hungry, like most nice guys are, women will know. And it means that it's time to change your mindset. Like I said before, it's okay to want someone to like you. We all want that, but you must be okay with them disliking you as well. Because let's face it, even if you're the most attractive guy in the world, if you exhibit all the traits of the perfect man, there will be women who do not like you. And that is normal. That is human. It doesn't mean you're not good enough in some way. It doesn't mean something is wrong with you or that you will lack something within you. It just means that you're not compatible with that woman at that time. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of women you would be compatible with. So just go out and interact with them and you will find one. 
In fact, if you use the strategies I discuss on this channel or go through one of my programs, you'll find that many men, what many men, many women, many men too, many women will like you, many women will want you and would be eager to date you. But even with all my tactics and programs, you can't make everybody like you. So whenever you talk to women, don't obsess over rapport. Talk to them freely, express yourself honestly and see what it leads to. You will have so much more success with women if you do that, okay? Finally, here's the last rule you need to break to attract women. Rule number three, the validation rule. Nice guys believe they must get a woman's validation in order to feel good about themselves. The woman's approval decides whether they're good enough or not. This subconscious rule or belief is where the people-pleasing behavior stems from. The reason a nice guy does so much to make a woman like him isn't just to get laid or get a girlfriend, but it's to validate himself that he's worthy of affection. The problem with this rule is a massive one. First of all, if your self-perception is based on other people's perception of you, then you're screwed. Like I said before, there will always be people who don't like you, even if you're the best person in the entire world, which means you'll always have a reason to dislike yourself. What happens when you don't like yourself? You seek more validation. You need other people to make you believe that you're worthy of love and affection. In other words, you become a needy individual. And guess what? No woman likes a needy man, which means if you're super needy, it's like almost impossible to get a woman to want to be with you. I'm not gonna say you're gonna be forced to be single, but it's gonna be hard to find somebody, which is unfortunately what happens to most nice guys. And this is kind of like a, a closed loop. They seek validation from women and that makes them needy and being needy makes them unattractive. It's just like this vicious cycle and being unattractive makes them feel bad about themselves. And that feeling now forces them to seek more validation. Again, they're basically caught in this constant loop and that's why they never seem to get the women that they like. Now, to break this loop, you must stop seeking any external validation. And I know that's hard, but you must learn to believe in your value as a man. You must become self-assured. And of course, this is easier said than done, but there is a shortcut. I've been working closely with renowned dating coach and NLP expert, Mark Singh. And together, we have created something extraordinary, a tool that will help you destroy your insecurities, remove any validation-seeking behavior, and build rock-solid confidence in just 10 minutes a day. This is a completely new and revolutionary program, which we're calling Visualization mastery for dating. So just click the link in the description and check it out right now. I am certain that you've never seen anything like this before. This new program uses the scientific process of visualization to get inside your brain and demolish any negative beliefs you have about yourself and then replace those beliefs with new ones which give you unshakable confidence and self-assurance all within 10 minutes a day, right? That's nothing. You simply listen to the program, follow the instructions, and watch your insecurities around women and dating get washed away. And the best part is you will find a new sense of confidence cursing through your veins after your very first visualization session. That is how fast it starts to work. What's more, when we tested this on 48 guys as a part of our beta test, the results were overwhelmingly positive. That's why I am so pumped about this program. Those guys in our tests saw a 300% improvement in their dating lives within 30 days with just 10 minutes of visualization. That means three times more phone numbers is what they got. Three times more dates is what they got and three times more fun encounters. Is what they got. There's no reason why it cannot do something similar for you as well. I have put the link in this to this amazing new program in the description below, so feel free to check it out. I'm 100% confident that you are going to love it, okay? There's never been a tool like this before for guys, a tool which allows you to literally remove insecurities, build confidence, and therefore become attractive to women all in just 10 minutes a day. Once again, the link is in the description below. If you're interested, take a look at it right now. But either way, thank you so much for watching this video to the very end. I hope you found it useful. I'll see you again next week.